Good morning. Good morning. Wake up, y'all. So, make it a great day. Let's see what comes in today. I've got my car that I wanted to work on today. Well, not my car. It is my car. It's this uh, Mercedes C320. Had a little uh, sideswipe issue right here. He smoothed everything out, buffed it out, got the dents out. You can tell he hit back here too, but he, he was able to buff it out. You could tell the wheels too. So whatever he sideswiped, dented here, scratched it up. Uh, paint feels fresh and smooth. Scratch up the wheel and hit back there too. So I really like this color too, by the way. And there was also an issue right here. He had this part of the bumper, he hit something. So it was just sunk in. It's all plastic, so, you know, all that's repairable. So we'll hopefully get the customer to pick that up today. There she is back there. Get her to pick pick that car up today, so let's give him a call. And he knows the price already. He knows the details of it. So we'll get it picked up today. And that Apollo needs brakes, but it's about lunchtime, so I think we're going to have lunch next. So I'm done with the brakes of the Apollo. But I forgot I had I was also supposed to do this. Well I wasn't supposed to, but that side is all fucked up. See that tip? It's all fucked up. So might as well I'm gonna take both sides off. But fuck, it's proving to be a bitch. Look, two razor blades already broken. Two of them, two separate ones. And then this one feels like it wore out. So I'm, gonna, I'm on my fourth one. So let's take off the tip. I feel like I should have paid somebody to do this. But I'm almost done. Have you ever done this? Comment below. Let me know. It's a hassle, but I guess I could finish it. up the tip I scraped it all off look one broken this one wore out two broken three broken four broken and these two were wore out also four broken blades and three wore out blades that's how stuck some part of that tit was it was a headache to get off but finally came everything off both windows are now completely clear transparent uh, am I going to tint it again? No, because I'm going to end up selling that car. Well, hello. Uh, I got a lot of stuff done today. I didn't get a lot of stuff done today. Sometimes there's days that you feel like you didn't get a lot of stuff done, but I actually did. I did the estimate for this thing, catalytic converter for the Volkswagen. He's going to lead the catalytic converter. He's going to lead the O2 sensor in the rear. Spark plugs, wires, coil, and a gasket. Something's leaking. It's leaking oil into. I took. I was able to reach one of the spark plugs, and it's the inside of the uh, of the cylinder. You can see the cylinder head. It's there's oil there. I mean, there's just it's dried up goo. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's dirty in there. So he's got something. Probably the, gonna need the heads done. But that's why I want to check the compression first, make sure it's worth doing anything versus doing everything and then there's no compression and the engine's shot. So let's take care of that tomorrow. But it's, it's a fairly new channel, but you know, let's let's make this channel great. Let's, plus on top of that, you tell me, what do you, what do you want to watch? What do you want to see? 
I'm going to do that how-to video on the of the intake which actually is a starter, but I gotta pull the intake out. Uh, you know, I got a project truck that I want to work with. I've got it at home. I've kind of put it away for now, but it, it is at home. It needs literally everything. Interior, engine. Engine is okay, but uh, we'll see. Transmission's going to be, it's gonna be needed. And then when I need to rebuild it, I'm gonna rebuild it badass. Paint, tires, lowering, it needs wheels, it needs the whole shebang so another project that that this year with with the shop i want to start working with buying selling cars is one of them but also buying and upgrading buying and making cars ready for the off-road for example little trucks rangers so give it a little lift get some beat ass tires beat ass wheels a light bar an antenna uh you know all that stuff, a CV radio, make it make it so you can take it off-road. I like going off-road, I enjoy that. So let's make these trucks ready for the off-road so we can take them out. Take them out for, for the, for, take them out on the drive, take them out on the spin. Make sure they're working, make sure they need, they've got everything they need. So you take a thousand dollar truck and you can make it into a six, seven, eight thousand dollar truck. Hopefully, right? Hopefully. But that's why we're here. Hard work is going to pay off at the shop. So let's get to fucking work. Excuse my language. So hit like, hit subscribe, watch us, tell your friends about us, and follow also Instagram, the Tire Garage. You got the Instagram. Uh, Snapchat. I'm going to be probably doing a Snapchat pretty soon. So, uh, you know, let's, let's get things rolling. All right. I'll see you guys. Have a good evening. Peace. All right. So what do we got today? That baby still, I need to fix the little click that AC has. This one, I need to do a compression test. And it's got a shitload of cones already. And looky, looky, who's here? The step on dude. And we got this baby that came in. I believe it's going to be the starter. So when you turn the key, all, the, all it does is click. I checked the battery voltage already. The voltage for the battery is fine. We're gonna check the relays and the fuse is also for the starter. All it does is click, so I think it's getting power. I think just the starter is not, not turning on. Uh, where's the starter on this bitch? Fuck, I think it's gonna be under the exhaust manifold. Uh, I don't see it here. Let's look it up, see where it's where it's located. But yeah, I think it's gonna be under the exhaust. Not a fold under there somewhere. You see it? I can't see it. Alright. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to push it. So I'll move the Jetta. I got an oil change coming in, so See if we can uh, wait for the oil change to come in. Do that real quick, and then get started on the Jeep. The guy from the Jeep needs it pretty soon. The Jetta too. I don't want to go by today without checking it up. So, so let's get to work. Plus, some tires came in. Got to push those in. Those two tires on one car, and. And we got work to do. And get some oil in there. Notice I don't drop it all the way to the floor. Because it makes it easier. I don't have to be bending over. To, uh, to put the oil in. Most of the time it tells you what weight. 520. We're doing synthetic. 520. Here we are. That's 530. I don't know if I showed you this yesterday. But this is one thing that came in. Check this out. BMW, this girl had a little incident with the road. Full hole right there. We got another hole over here. And she has a hole over here somewhere too. Let's just tape. There it is, right there. A little gash right there. So, she had some fun on the road. 
yesterday. So I got a new wheel. So I got to replace the center cap sensor and I have the tire here for it. So replace that, put that on that thing over there. So let's get to work. Uh oh, you're stuck? Uh oh, you're stuck. Get your toes out of there. You got three tires for this sucker. This is my nephew, so you get to meet him. You get a little humper today. He can't even lift the tire. <laughs> That's cute though. Okay, so I was going a little crazy, but I finally sat down to have lunch. I was going a little crazy because everybody doesn't come in at the same time. Uh, they picked up the Mercedes. To, I mean, the Mercedes today. Uh, he was happy. Those parts that got fixed, uh, we're good to go. The Mac Hole Tool Truck was here, but I didn't record. I didn't. I didn't have a time to jump in there. Uh, there's a few things that I'm gonna need to buy, but uh, I wasn't sure yet, so I wasn't in a rush to get in there. Uh, and also, and I still got the Jetta, which I need to get out of the damn Jetta. And the Impala. So next, I'm gonna fix that that ticking noise of the Impala. I'll show you what it is right now. And also the, the and I need to jump on the Jetta first. That that Jeep could be done to tomorrow. There's no way I'm gonna finish it today. I tested actually with the power probe, the starter for this thing. I gave it power and it just clicks. Yeah. So absolutely, it's gonna be the starter. It calls for four hours. Got cops running all over the place. We're in Santa Ana, what do you expect? But I'm um, gonna get started on that soon. It will be today though. But here's, here's what came in today. I did four tires on a Corolla, did used tires. I had all four here, in fact I have two more. I had about eight, eight of those tires. Uh, so I did four tires on a Corolla, but then another truck came in also for used tires, the bad alignment. Check this out. This is the kind of stuff that comes in Often. See all that? Got wires. Got wires. That's actually the the nice one. Look at this one. Got wires all over the edge. But compared to this side, this side's you, you this is the side that you can see from the outside, right? This is inside. Look how defined that is. You can feel a groove here. So something's really up. It is a lower truck. It was a Silverado. Probably about 2003, 2004. Silverado. And it's a lower truck. So the alignment's off. I told him go get the alignment adjusted. Get it fixed. That way you don't eat up those tires too. Because the way it is. Watch, you can see it from here. See how much tread depth that has. I'm not saying it's a new tire either. But you still got a little bit of depth here. But look how bad that's worn out to the point where wires are sticking out. So, had that little detail there too. And I've just been giving pricing and stuff like that to customers, so I've been busy all morning. Uh, but, so stay tuned. This is a 2006 Chevy Impala. It's the basic one. It still has CD, uh, cassette, nothing fancy. Wood, that's about it. But here's the issue. Should the AC? Hear that? Hear that? You hear that? Let's get that. Apparently, it's that piece of shit. So, apparently, it's that piece of shit that's making the noise. Let's see. Let's make it do it again. Great, now it's not doing it. Okay, turn it off. Turn it back on. Go to hot. Go to cold. There it is. See, it's that little motor right there. So, let's take it off. And we'll see when it's turned off. And you put your fingers on it, you touch it, and you can feel it. It's just 
try to turn. So it looks like it's two bolts and one clip holding it. In. So let's. For this, when you work with electrical components, it's always good. Just disconnect the battery. You don't have to, but you should. In this case, I don't want it to turn, misalign something. I don't know if it will. It's a possibility. And if you touch something, you shouldn't. You cross a cable that you shouldn't. You can short something out. So it's always best. Just disconnect the battery. It takes you five seconds. So just do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here, finally, it's out. It's not that hard to get to. It's just... The, uh, this bottom bolt that's there is a little hard to get to so let me since I don't know what this is called right let's say you you're doing it at home you don't know what this is called look at the look at the uh, parts they always have different numbers on there go to the O'Reilly store go to the AutoZone store whichever store Napa whatever parts store you prefer and look up the part numbers so you got a series of numbers here and a series of numbers here try both if either or don't work then explain it to the person there at the counter they should know what you're talking about so right so let's look it up so let's finish off the week uh, I closed up finished off the day the Jeep I started taking it apart and Ah, that one's going to be a bitch. But I I don't see any YouTube videos out there for it. So I think I'm going to do a YouTube video uh, outlining how to do the intake and obviously the starter since it's right under there. So what I came is to have some grub right after the shop and check these babies out. Some taquitos. I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can see the detail in there, but as the light fades off, I'm going to say good night, have some dinner, and I'm out. I'll see you guys tomorrow.